this is fallen angel technology. Humans cannot do this. What you're looking at, by the way, that's a hair. What you're looking at is an Apple chip, a processor chip under a microscope. It's literally impossible we can do what you're about to see. It's quite obviously magic. It's literally magic. Like it's always been since the beginning of time. Fallen Angels giving us crazy technology that we could otherwise not do. If you think that humans could just out the blue do this, then you are fooled. This is literally a copycat, a mimic of God's creation of the earth on a microscopic level. I mean, look how the cities are laid out. Like in the stars, you can see a grid pattern, like an energy pattern that exists. Do you know how close in we are right now? This is so ridiculous to think that we could even do this. Our phones are literal black mirrors that we are holding in our hand. It's literal black magic. Literally, you can watch somebody else's life even further. If, if you're a hacker, you can hack into someone's phone and see what they're doing at the moment exactly like a crystal ball in a diviner. Really quickly, just for perspective, this is the zoom out. Like how small this is, is freaking ridiculous that we could ever even, you know, create at such a small, uh, microscopic level. It is not human. I'm telling you, it's not human. All right. This is the book of second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. And it says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay. Woe meaning destruction. All right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 15, and it says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your call and election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. Again, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another lesson. And Lord willing, it be edifying, okay? And you know I'm under a, a one-week strike, okay? So this video is will be done on my backup channel. Now, I don't know if anyone has noticed, probably... Uh, because I, um, I'm not even able to really even comment. Well, uh, I mean, not make or make posts, I should say. So uh, I, I commented on my, fr from my new page, my backup channel, which is not really a new page. I've had that backup, but I've never really, I just have like a couple videos on there because I've been doing everything on my page. However, um, what did I end up doing um, was I commented on one of my posts that I made on, on the uh, main channel and this was saying like, hey, you know, uh, I got the one week strike. So if if you uh, happen to uh, see it, you know what I'm saying? Then you could come across onto this new page, you know, because uh, I know people probably thinking, uh, what's going on? Is this brother doing the work? You know, is he, you know, what's happening? Did, did he stop? No, I got a strike. All right, on a video that I that I did, which it wasn't even really a lesson. It was just a quick clip of what a brother was saying. And it's crazy, you know, because we bring out all this type of information and it shows you that somebody was just disgruntled over it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of uh, people that, uh, you know, spies, agents, you got these Christians popping up on your page and they just looking to disrupt what you're doing. You know, meanwhile, you know, if you really look at it, you're a miserable individual if you're doing that. You know, it's like, you know, OK, you don't agree. Why don't you just keep it moving and go be around Christians and like minded individuals? But they can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because they have a certain demonic spirit that's on them that's adverse to what you're doing. OK, you're you're over here minding your business, thriving and doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah who they don't even know they have no connection to you know but they want to come up against you all right but uh but it is what it is like i said we know what you know the bible says these things would happen okay and, and all we do we just get into a state of rejoicing okay so it is what it is but like i said just a one week strike you know but uh the sh uh a the work the work continues you know we still got to do the work so we have backup channels and we and stuff which is crazy because youtube kind of threatened me like like talking about if you uh 
you know, you can lose your channel by way of um, doing other, um, um, you know, like continuing on on other uh, backup channels and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do what the Bible tells us to do, you know. Hey, we're going to do what Yahweh Shem says, and we're going to continue to work. All right. So without, you know, further ado, let's get go ahead and dive back into this lesson. All right. So Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? And we know this to be Esau, Edom, because what Esau, uh, what Esau has done is... Uh, you know, uh, with him having rulership, that's by way of Job 9, 24, all right? But uh, this man is on a mission, okay? Because he knows that, okay, yes, the earth has been given unto him, but it's only for a short time, okay? And that time is, is ready to expire here pretty soon, all right? So this man is scrambling. He's getting things in motion, all right? And this man wants to keep you from receiving uh, salvation, okay? Because ultimately... You know, uh, he knows that a certain group of people got next, okay? Which that would be the Israelites. That would be, you know, those of Jacob, all right? You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? You have next, and this man knows it, all right? So this man is, you know, setting things in motion to keep you from uh, to receiving that, all right? So, you know, he's getting things in play, like, you know, he's got his mark and stuff. And this is what we warn the people about, man. Okay? You know, we warn the people. Hey, you know, um, you know, our people, you know, to be more specific, you know, because, hey, you know, we're not focused on these other nations and stuff like that. But, of course, the message is going out through the four corners because we've been scattered. All right? But uh, we warn our people, hey, do not take it. Okay? Do not take it. All right, because there's consequences for that. All right, which, you know, we will get into that here a little later in this lesson. OK, but these people are doing things in the dark. OK, like you see the video clip I put in the beginning of the brother was bringing the stuff out. And he's talking about fallen angel technology and all that. Hey, man, it's just demonic technology, man. It's just um, left hand technology. This is Satan. This is the adversary. This is the devil. OK, that's pouring this knowledge into them okay but even that is is not is nothing in comparison to the technology and the wisdom the knowledge the understanding of yahweh shimmy awashai okay the knowledge of this world is foolish okay which we know that is ruled by what the the god of this world which is not yahweh shimmy awashai okay this is the god of this world right now is satan okay under uh you know the uh, manifestation, all right, uh, of him is is through uh, Esau Edom, all right, which we know it to be the so-called white man, okay, who has been is being exposed, okay. This is the man that that's uh, governed over the world, the entire earth, all right, and whatever he don't have, he's at war with, you know, because like the Bible says, war is in this man's heart, okay, but he's trying to get things in motion, and, and you know, and a lot of our people don't have a clue of what's going on. They come up against us. You got people that are mad. But, hey, we're showing you these things, okay, because things was, are being revealed in these last days, okay, whether you want to believe it or not. See, we deal with facts. We don't deal with feelings, all right? We don't care about, about your feelings and things like that, and we're not trying to be rude or nasty or nothing like that, but it's just it is what it is. You know, truth is truth. And, you know, you always heard that saying, truth hurts, you know, because people always have been taught this love, love vibration. OK, and that's going to get you killed. You you think you're going to have that type of uh, you think that's going to work on Esau when this man come down with great wrath, as the Bible tells you in the book of Revelations. He's going to come down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. OK, and he knows that and that time is, is now. OK, this man is moving, get moving and getting things in motion. OK, so this also is what inspired me to. Uh, do this lesson okay i had this article and i was meaning to do this lesson uh some days ago okay and like i said you know um it's it's extremely hot we're dealing with hot weather and it's going to be like that all week you know so i'm just kind of like letting it get you know a night cool down and come come out because it's draining and i work with heat like uh, my job we work in a in a very hot 
it's a warehouse but it has no central air and plus we work with heat you know our department we use heat therefore it it's draining on the body you know and uh you come out of there man and it's, it's like being in a hot box man and you come out of there and you're just like oh my gosh like every like all the life has just been drained out of you you know that's the feeling every time you leave out of that place and that's why i just pray man I pray every day man for the for this place to fall you know that's why i said you uh, uh, uh israelite that wants this to continue on like this man you you that de you definitely are not in the uh, right spirit or you just you know you having too much fun in babylon you know because you know the, the spirit right now you know we should be in is the is a hastening spirit of this man you know want this place to just fall man want this place to fall because it's like i said it's draining the life out of our people man okay so uh we got this article here okay and it says trump suggests he would give elon musk a cabinet position in second term and most people will look right past this okay now we ain't saying that he's gonna win or lose i don't know hey whoever gets in there they're gonna do the bidding of uh satan which ultimately is the bidding of the heavenly father at the end of the day because he controls all you know the bible says the deceiver and the deceiver are his so he controls all things he he creates the good he creates the evil everything is made and set up uh you know by the heavenly father okay this is his movie man and it's playing out exactly how he said it would all right but uh this is article from Forbes. It says, again, uh, Trump suggests he would give Elon Musk a cabinet position in second term. Okay. And you got to think, you're like, okay, he want to put this guy in there. And I'm like, what kind of politics is this guy in to, you know, I understand he got money, power. He's into a lot. He, he's everywhere. This man is in, into a lot of different things, which we'll get into that here in a second because I put up, you know, his information. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's just like, OK, you know, you should have those type of credentials, which technically Trump doesn't. He's he's a business. And I think that's probably why he'll click with this guy. All right. Because, you know, he's business. That guy's business. And and he's got some type of, I guess, in a way, an influence, you know, with his technology and stuff, which we're going to get into that. OK, because people respect that. You know, they look at that. They, they respect they, money and stuff. They'll look past all the other things, but that's okay, all right? That's okay. In their eyes, it is, but it really isn't, all right? But um, former President Donald Trump said in an interview with Reuters on Monday he would offer either a cabinet position or advisory role, all right, to Tesla CEO. You know, see, that's one thing. He's, he's into the Tesla, okay? And he's into other things as well, which, like I said, we'll get into that. All right, as the world's wealthiest man has become an increasingly key political ally for the ex-president, okay? And he says, Trump told Reuters that if he's elected, he would turn to Musk for a cabinet position or advisory role in the White House, provided the billionaire uh, would do it, okay? The comments come shortly after Musk interviewed Trump on his platform X, formerly known as Twitter, and Trump praised the vehicles Musk makes, all right, saying that, while not everybody should have an electric car, must make a makes a great product. See, so this man is into you know the whole making the cars, okay? You know that Tesla, all right. But like I said, this man is into a lot of things, all right. You know, uh, he's got a Twitter as well, you know, which now it's known as X, okay. So he got this thing, all right. And that's and that's ultimately they, these people are, are having they got secret councils they doing things in the dark okay you know these people a lot of them are in cahoots okay they might make it seem like they don't know each other and all that man they, these people have secret meetings you know they have their world meeting but they have secret meetings that they don't discuss they don't bring out they don't talk about okay you know and all these people are in cahoots man and that's why it the heavenly father warns him he says woe unto you that seek deep to hide your counsel who knoweth who seeth us who knoweth us you know that's the mindset nobody knows us okay and even if you do know something of them like trump and them but you really don't know the whole agenda that's behind what they're really doing okay because everything is done in secrecy 
all right but this is second corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11 it says lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices just like in the clip you know like um what the brother was showing with the stuff you know and it says like it's fallen angel technology it looks like it's trying to uh like it, it you know when you start zooming in onto the uh, microchip and all this thing it looked like uh like a map out uh, of the world uh like you know this the way it's set up it's it's just weird you know and that's one of the things when you go into reading um and the scriptures about like what Lucifer said, I will I will be like the most high. Okay. All right. I'm I'm gonna be like the most high. You know. That's Esau, man. That's Esau. To a T. All right. He wants to be like the most high. He wants, you know, try to uh, you know, because this man has his mark, okay, which we like I said, we're gonna get into that as well. He has his mark, but Yahweh has his mark, okay. Which is spiritual, but he's putting a spiritual mark on his people, okay? Those that are sighing and crying of all these abominations, which that's a whole nother lesson on all the things that are happening around this world. You know, the, we're crying about these things unto the Heavenly Father. All right? And he hears us, okay? He hears us, you know? And that's why, you know, he's setting that mark upon his people that sigh and cry, okay? And Lord willing, we be of that precious number, man, to be see deliverance. Because, man, I'm telling you, man, with this devil, you know, the things that he's doing, man, he's about to come down on great wrath. All right. So, again, it says, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And we're not. Okay. You know. That's also why the Heavenly Father is shortening the time. He felt for the elect's sake. Okay. And we can't be deceived. All right. When this man say certain things, it, it just it taps on us. Cause you know when that when Trump said what he said about getting Elon a, a position, I it, it automatically hit me, and I was already thinking like, hey man, that's a Bible lesson right there. And not just me, there was so many other brothers that was making posts talking about it. Same thing, you know, cause the Bible says we will speak the same thing. Okay, you know we see this man, we see what that what this uh, gearing up for. All right. And so this is a precept I usually come out with, you know, right after that, um, the the one um, Satan devices uh, precept. OK, this is Second Thessalonians. OK, two and nine. All right. It says even him who's coming is after the work against Satan. And remember, I told you Esau was the manifestation of, of Satan on the earth. OK, doing the bidding of Satan. So look at this. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. OK. All right, with all power and signs and lying wonders, okay? And this is not just, you know, a, a single individual man, okay? These are the E, the mites, man, okay? It could be, it could all be lumped in as one man, okay? Which, you know, you just, we, we know, when you, sit, when you speak it like that one man, you just say, hey, Esau, Esau, you know? Because like I said, Second Ezra 6 and 9, it tells you that Esau is the end of the world, all right? But, you know... This is this is the the man of sin, okay? As you you know, if you tapped into Second Thessalonians chapter two, you know, you go up some verses, all right. It it tells you about this man, all right. Which we could actually just pull that up here, all right. All right. This is verse. Uh, we'll move up to verse three, okay? And it says, "Let no man deceive you." See, there's that word deceive, okay? By any means, for that day shall not come, except they're coming falling away first. All right, and, and that uh, that man of sin be revealed. See that he had to be revealed because you know, like I said, the mindset of them was what? Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? They do their counsels, everything in the dark, secrecy and stuff. You know, you have your um, one of the things what your Illuminati, okay? Secret societies. That's why you hear that word secret societies, okay? But they're being exposed, being revealed, okay? This is that man of sin. This is what the Bible has been warning us about, okay? These are the ones, okay, that are at, uh, doing this left-hand work, okay? The workings, the biddings of Satan, okay? So again, it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except they're coming falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth, look at that, oppose, all right? And exalteth himself, what did, that, uh, what did Lucifer say? You know, I'm going to be like the Most High, you know? 
he was going to ascend up into the heavens, the stars, and be like the Most High. That's what this man does. Okay? All right? Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, see that, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay? That's what this man is doing. All right? We'll go back, back to that. All right? But look, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Lying wonders, man. Hey. So, all right. Now we're going to go ahead and tap into this man, Elon Musk, real quick. All right. And it's crazy because, like I said, see, it says CEO of Tesla Motors. But this is the crazy part. When you look at some of these new articles now, it's saying uh, after Elon bends knee to Donald Trump throws him under the bus and these are just articles i'm gonna tell you things like this are just to throw you off and you can see look these are all the, like the little trending topics look and look, he says trump needs elon musk here's why he's not happy about it see they say things like this and this is all just to just throw you off i'm telling you man these dudes are in cahoots all right they are in cahoots all right they're all in league they got they on a mission okay but that's just to throw you off all right but this is the individual, okay? You know, he says 53 years old, all right? And uh, let's see, we could probably go to Wikipedia, see what it'll say all on here. Uh, yeah, okay. Elon Reeve Musk, okay? And it says, is a businessman and investor. Like I said, it's, you don't see anything about politics, okay? Meanwhile, they, he wants uh, Trump wants to get this guy in there, which Trump, like I said, he's a businessman, too. They really not into the politics like that. But they got these guys, you know. All right. Because when that's what, you know, a lot of people don't know is that uh, America is a corporation. This place ain't even really a, a, a country. All right. Or a continent to that, ma that matter. You know, according to this, man, it's it's a corporation. It's a business. All right, that's why countries flock over here. This is Babylon the Great. That's why they flock over here, okay, to, uh, they make merch, make business, all that stuff, set up their businesses, all these people from other countries and stuff. All right, it's a corporation, all right? And they make they make their business off, off of uh, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? So again, it says, is a businessman and investor known for his key roles in the space company SpaceX. So see, he's also into SpaceX. I said, this man is all over the place. And things like that make you go, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, this man is doing a little bit too much, okay? And, and some might look at it like, oh, why are you hating on that man? You know, why can't he be great? All right? You know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you know, you got to start, hey, the Bible says you'll know them by their fruits, they works. Okay, and you got to start paying attention and connecting the dots. Okay, because you look at the achievements and see all that as, as a good thing, but but the whole duty of man is what to do do the work of Yahweh Shimei Yahushua, the Most High, man. Okay. All right, keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, and these people ain't keeping it. All right, at all. All right. So it says, all right, he's known for his key roles in the space company SpaceX. And the automotive company Tesla Inc. Okay, which we I've just mentioned that. All right, other involvements include ownership of X Corp. All right, the company that operates social media platform X. All right, formerly known as Twitter. See, he got Twitter now. All right, in his role. All right, in the founding of Boring Company. All right, he got uh, X AI. All right, see that he got Neuralink. There's the Neuralink. Okay, and that's the whole. Uh, he's wanting to put the uh microchips uh or brain chips i should say into people all right and he's done two people so far all right which i believe he's done more okay but those are the two he got the two that that are known to the public all right but i i guarantee you this man has been doing not many other people okay he's tested it out on animals which you know a lot of that failed and you had people exposing stuff he was doing it on on monkeys and rats and stuff and, and a lot of them they were developing uh tumors and can cancerous tumors all right and they begin to die uh die over it, over it you know and you know you got those people uh they were working for him but they you know how uh you know uh esau one of the things about some of you know esau and them they have that uh that PETA spirit, 
okay you know about them animals and stuff so them activists hey so they start exposing stuff about what Esau's doing man all right but like i said he, he's got his hands all over the place in a lot of different things so again it says social media platform x formerly known as twitter xai Neuralink and open ai it says he is one of one of the wealthiest individuals in the world all right as of august 2024 forms es estimates his net worth to be uh all right according you know us dollars it says 247 billion that's a lot of money man okay and he's one of them guys that just kind of like it seemed like he just popped up and came out of nowhere so it's like man who is this guy man okay got his hand in a lot of stuff all right so now that we have that we got a, a little understanding of who that guy is and what he's he's all into and he can be into many other things but the heavenly father you know what i'm saying you know maybe in due time it might be revealed to us or he it could just be some of that secrecy stuff that i'm telling you about because they like i said these people are all in cahoots and they do things in the dark okay but this is another article here this is euro news and it says second Neuralink brain chip implant patient uses technology to play counter strike 2. So he's playing, uh, he's playing video games, uh, you know what I'm saying, with his brain chip, okay? And that's going to get a lot of people because a lot of these uh, people out here, they love the video games. They love, uh, you know, those type of things. And, and imagine being able to play it using using that, that brain chip in you, man. That might give you a state of comfort, like when all hell's breaking loose around you and you just you just playing with that. Your whole mind is just captivated on that and stuff like that. That's why the Bible says, hey, man, we're not ignorant of this man's devices. He's going to make it seem as if it's some type of paradise. All right. A state of delusion. Meanwhile, all hell is breaking loose. All right. I'm telling you. And then they, now they're going to try to make the second patient. You know what he got? It seems like it's better than the first guy. And like that's why it says down here, it says unlike the first patient, the brain chip has remained fully attached to the second patient's brain. So they make it seem like, okay, we had this little fault with the first guy. But, hey, unlike that, this one is, is more successful, okay? And it's just carrying on and on and on and on, okay? Because it's gradualism to get you eventually, you know, when they start pushing this thing on people, all right? It, it, it's it's, it's going to be crazy, man, all right? You know, which, uh, speaking of that, you know, there was a, uh, there was a, a, another clip I had, which also inspired me to do this lesson. All right. And they were talking about, uh, you know, he started talking about the neural link and, you know, and the guy had a, a vision of people taking it. Okay. And it putting them in a state of delusion. Okay. The mark of the beast is a chip. It creates a boil on your hand and it will happen. I'm telling you, I saw it. Whenever I was in tribulation with the Lord, people were trying to fake this little chip. And it's, it's a lot like Neuralink. If you know what I'm talking about, go Google Neuralink. It, it, it's, it's like messes with your brain. Okay? When the people get the chip, the mark of the beast, it creates an alternate personality. It alters your personality. It makes you calm. It sends out endorphins to your brain to make you calm. I'm trying to warn you, this is coming. I don't know if this chip exists yet, but it was very, very small. And with the instantaneously, when you get this chip, your body reacts to it. And, and, and if, I try to warn you all that people will seek death and they will not be able to find it. Because when you try to do anything to harm yourself, okay, in any way, or harm anybody else it sends a signal to your brain somehow and calms you down it makes it where you are like on dopamine and it's like all happy and you and but you're like they're like zombies they're not there in their eyes and i warn everybody that they will use the drones drones by the thousands searching the whole area always to see if your chip communicates to the drones in the sky this will take place and if you're if you do not have a chip whenever they scan your body and you uh, are are basically without one they send the 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 authorities to come and find you and the drone stays on you with all kinds of technology like infrared and all kinds you can't run you can't get away from it okay so it hovers over and it flies around and follows you the whole time until the authorities find you to give you the chip or you get your head off and, it, and they don't even give you a chance you either take the mark or you you're done okay all right so yeah you know pretty much you know uh 
he was like, you know, you'll be wanting to off yourself, you know, take your life and you ain't going to be able to do it. OK, because you're going to be in a whole different state, man, of mind. All right. You know, I've been paying attention with this whole jab thing, you know, and like I said, I want to be very careful with my words. But uh, I've noticed people that took took in the jab, man, and how they act, they, they, they'll be in this mood and stuff in one moment. Everything seemed very off, very strange, very crazy. And then all of a sudden they just like all cool, calm and collective too. So, the, you know, that thing playing a, a big part too. That's why I said, you know, I'm not looking at it like it's a small thing. Like they just took that and it, that's it. And that's all it was. Nah, man. Hey, man, this devil, man. You know, we don't know what, what was in that stuff. What was in the ingredients. Some said, hey, he, that some said that he actually put a, a, a very small, um, uh, microchip inside uh, inside the jab, all right? And, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, okay? But we know that all those people that, that took it, you know what I'm saying, they said they got them all logged into a database now, okay? So they know who's who. They starting to know, like, who, who took it, who didn't, and all these different things, man, okay? But uh, back to this uh, guy, you know, with the video games and all that stuff, being able to play it with, with the brain chip and stuff. All right, this is 2 Thessalonians um, verse 2, or chapter 2, I should say, in uh, verse 10. Okay, moving on from what it said in verse 9, which we can go back to this, okay, real quick. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. See that with all power and signs, this, this whole thing, that's, that's somebody that has, what, power, okay, signs, all right? The signs look showing you like look look what it can do okay but lying wonders okay all right so now uh verse 10 okay and with all deceivableness okay there's that word deceive again okay of unrighteousness in them that perish okay because a lot of these people that are uh you know a righteous person is not going to fall be succumb unto that okay if you're righteous and you're uh, uh, exercising the righteous acts of your Habashim Yashai, you think he's going to lead you down that path? No. You know what I'm saying? If anything, because, you know, the Bible tells you that he gives his angels charge over you, too. OK, so you don't think that you will be you'll be kept from that. OK. Hey, make no mistake, man. The Heavenly Father has an elect. All right. But we just pray that we are of that precious number. You know what I'm saying? That's why we try to re exercise the righteous acts. We treat our brothers and sisters right and stuff because we don't want to be succumbing to this. All right. Because if you eventually if you come down to this, then you wasn't you wasn't right, you know, in the first place. All right. It says of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. See that? This this whole love of the world, man, is, is is a whole different entity, man. That's a whole different thing. That's not real love, okay? Real love is of this truth, this gospel, okay? That's why we say, am I therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? Us bringing this stuff out makes people hate us, all right? Which Yahweh Shah said that these things would happen. People will hate us for bringing this information out, okay? Because they're living in a fantasy. They're in a bubble, okay? And they don't want nothing, nothing, uh... You know, you know, that, that that's going to, you know, challenge their beliefs. All right. Which we're not going around just pig it on you or nothing like that. Hey, we just bring forth the truth and we put we put it on our platform. And most of the time people come on our platform and be disgruntled about what they see. Hey, I'm like, hey, you didn't have to come on my page. But at the same time, the Heavenly Father sent you. Because you got to hear this. Hey, the Bible says everyone's going to be able to hear this gospel. And some of you are set up to not believe. Some of you are set up to scoff and talk shit. Okay? And the heavenly, and you think that you're doing a, a, a righteous thing by doing that. But the Heavenly Father's setting you up. You're going to be one of those ones that's going to be in line to take take this thing, man. Okay? And even if you're not and you say, oh, uh, I ain't going to take it over my dead body. Hey, the Heavenly Father going to put it where this man, because, hey, this man going to force it on people. You, you're going to... You're going to come to it down to a point where you ain't going to have no choice. All right. You know, when, when your stomach's touching your back and you're hungry and you're thinking that the Heavenly Father been dealing with you. And, and obviously he isn't because you've been scoffing at his man. You've been scoffing at the men of the Lord. He's going to set you up, man, to take that thing. All right. And that's going to be your doom, man. All right. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. 
okay? Verse 11, it says, and for this, okay, God, uh, cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, okay? And, that's, and some of that strong delusion right now, all right, is, is this, is, is that thing, all right, this right here, okay? I can do this with, with my brain chip and stuff like that, all right? And right now, see, he's going for these people that are, like, paralyzed, some of them from the neck neck down, and so he could do, like, these so-called miracles. See, this thing is he's trying to be like Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh Shai was able to touch people, a blind man, and make them see, and, and things like that. A crippled man, touch him, and he's able to walk, walk, you know? Cure a man of leprosy just by touching the man, you know? Miracles, walking on water, all kinds of different things, all right? This is this is pretty much what's what's uh you know uh these are the things that this devil is trying to do. All right. All right, so like I said, he's he'll give you that strong delusion, all right. But this is Isaiah 32 and verse 7. It says, The instruments also of the churl are evil. See that? He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right, okay? So this man's instruments, his devices, his things, man, they're evil, okay? All right? It might look good. He might present it as good, but hey, man, these things are not good, okay? And it's set up to destroy you, man, okay? Destroy the poor. We know that the poor are the Israelites. That's what it's talking about, okay? And he wants to destroy you, man, all right? All right, so I got the word karagma, all right? Strong's G5480, uh, all right? And we're just going to tap into some of these right here. All right, let's see. What is this right here? Okay. All right. And let's see. All right. And in Strong's definition, okay, Karagma, it says from the same as G5482, okay? And this here, it says a scratch or etching, okay? Stamp as a badge of servitude, all right? A sculptured figure, all right? Statue says graving mark. All right, and um, let's see. All right, down here he says a stamp, an imprinted mark. It says of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge. All right, of the followers of the Antichrist, Anti Messiah, Anti Yahweh Shimei Shai. Okay, the mark branded upon horses. Okay, and he looks at you as cattle and things like that. So this man's going to brand you with his own mark. Okay. So when the Heavenly Father uh, sends Yahweh Shai and he's out here to deliver his people, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that ain't going to be delivered. Because this man, you're going to be the property of this man Esau. You're going to be his. So, you, you know, hey, and that's what this man is, is ultimately doing. He's trying to keep you from receiving salvation, from receiving um, that deliverance, okay? That redemption, all right? Because it's all, we're a people that, that need to be redeemed, okay? Esau don't need to be redeemed. This man's living it up. He's in rulership. Okay? We're the ones that's at the bottom. Okay? All right? It says things carved. See that? Sculptured. Graven mark. All right? Of idolatrous uh, images. All right? So you see that? All right? And, then, you know, you had that word engraved, and I wanted to show y'all that word. It says cut. See, so uh, cut, making a cut into some something. It says cut or carve, all right? And then it says a text or design on the surface of a hard object, okay? Cut or carve, all right? A uh, text or design on such object, all right? It says cut, a design as lines of metal plate or printing, okay? But this man, like I said, he's going to, and look, you got words, similar words, look, inscribe, look, cut in, okay? Look, there's that word etch, which it was talking about on there. Okay, imprint, print, look, mark. Okay. And that's what this man's gonna want to do. Put that mark on you, man. Alright. Alright, this is the book of Revelations. Alright, chapter 13. I'm gonna start at verse 13. Alright. And remember how we were talking about hey, this man's gonna be doing these signs and these wonders, lying wonders and things. Alright. Look what this is saying. And this is see, this is why we get these scriptures out like this, man. Precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. That's how you truly get understanding, all right? You have to connect the dots, even with the scriptures. You know, Yahweh spoke in parables because it threw a lot of people off. It's not for everybody, 
all right? Yes, the, we were supposed to preach it throughout the four corners of the earth, and that's because the Israelites have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, but only for the elect. That's why the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Even when it goes into the kingdom to come, okay? It's only made for a few, okay? The narrow path, only few are going to find it, okay? It says broad is the way to destruction. Everyone's going to flock to go get this mark because they want to eat, they want to survive, but we're going to trust in the Heavenly Father. And I said, hey, man, he's going to feed you. He's going he's gonna to do these things. The Bible tells you, man, he says, my elect men are going to eat. They're going to drink. They're going to rejoice, okay? That's what we're going to be doing. I'm rejoicing right now. Even with that strike on my YouTube channel, hey, I'm in a state of rejoicing. And why is that? Because when those things happen like that, it's like, man, the Heavenly Father's dealing with me, man, because he said these things would happen, okay? All right? So that, that, that that's a, uh, it makes me feel good, man. Okay. And it just lets me know, Hey, keep, keep at, keep at it. Keep going. Keep applying pressure. Keep doing this work. All right. So again, it says, and he do of great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on, on the earth in the sight of men. Okay. This is what Esau does. Verse 14 and deceive if there's that word again and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which have power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them, all right, that dwell on the earth. All right, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound, all right, by a sword and did live. All right. And you notice that's why earlier I, in 2 Ezra 15 14, I said, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay. Because that man coming down with great wrath is this, man. He's going to be pushing an MOTB on you, man. All right. Verse 15 says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you wouldn't, you're going to be killed. You don't worship it. All right. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. You know, you got that uh, clip I always be put, putting where it show you that with that Eve going into the uh, grocery store trying to purchase uh, a few items and she's not able to, to use money she's not able to use her bank card she's not able to use check okay there's another method of payment okay a 425 please all right uh, let's see. kenny keep your mask on sorry we don't take cash okay um one second let me sorry we don't take card either <laughs> I'm sorry? What am I supposed to use? Can you, can you step to the side so you can figure this out? Can I speak to your manager? No! Excuse me. Do you, do you guys take checks? We don't need it. I have the money. We don't need it. Okay, what the hell is that? Excuse, when was that implemented? I don't have that. Sorry. But we're cashless now. I had to implement the new system just to stay in business. It's it's okay, Mom. You don't need it. Let's just let's just go. I hope you understand. Oh, but hey, hey, um, if you want to check out Mike's Corner Store right up the street, you might have some luck. Thank you. So again, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, to, all right, free and bond, okay, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay? So, hey, and the crazy thing is it says bond, meaning that you're going to be what? You're mostly locked up or something, okay? But, yet, but you know, some will say, well, how can they make purchases and do, you know, of course, you know, you got commissary, you know, you're able to buy, like, certain things in the prisons and stuff. You ain't gonna be able to get those things without the mark, even in there. Hey, that's this man. It's man coming down, and you know, and those prisons are filled up with uh, Israelites. It even goes into that in the scriptures. Okay, that we're the prison houses. All right, it's filled up with with Jake, man. All right, verse seventeen. All right, and that no man might buy or sell. See that? Say he, save he that had the mark. Okay, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. All right, in verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, okay? And his number is 603 score and six, all right? All right, so, uh, you know, the warning is going out. We're showing you the scriptures. We're bringing out uh, 
you know, the precepts, uh, certain uh, breakdowns, uh, definitions, meanings of words, these individuals that are, that are at play, the type of work that they're doing, you know, the stuff that they're saying in these articles, them coming together and all that. We're bringing it out. OK, so the warning is going out. So pr pretty much if you look past all that, you laugh, you scoff. And you go and you go take it Hey, it's going to be on you All right, this is the book of Sirach chapter 12 And verse 13, which in the same chapter It tells you what? Never trust thy enemy Okay But this is verse 13 right here, okay And it says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent Okay, you know, you got the serpent In the garden, okay, which we know that That, that's, that same serpent, that spirit Dwells in the Edomites today Okay Bitten with a serpent, okay, or any Or any, all right, such as Nigh uh, uh, as come nigh wild beasts Okay, Salakia Alright, verse 14 So one that goeth to a sinner See that, and is defiled with him in his sins Who will pity? So who's going to pity you? Hey, the Heavenly Father's not going to pity you You're going to be crying to him And he's going to laugh at you in the time of your calamity Okay Your destruction Okay Because the warning has went out Okay, and you ignored it We told people about the uh, jab and not to take it Okay, I told, I could uh, I told a lot of family and they and they didn't want to hear it. They went and got it. They got peer pressured into it. Some of them went and got it to get better paid jobs. OK, because, you know, a lot of those small businesses started to go out and some of my family were working at them and things was hurting and they needed money or some of them had jobs and they were perfectly fine. But they start chasing the bag. That's what happens when you start ch chasing that bag. OK. Esau will tell you, hey, come over here. You can make X amount of money an hour, all right? But you got to get this this jab, okay? And, and uh, some of my people fell for it, okay? And, and and now they're like zombies, man, okay? You know, me and my family was tight, man. And I and I know a lot of it has to do with, you know, the waking up to the truth. Yahweh Shai says he's coming with the vision. There's a lot of those things. But it seems like once they took that jab, man, it's like they're a whole different person, Okay? I don't even know them anymore for real like that, you know? That's why I always say the people that are in this truth is my true family, okay? And we're the ones that need to be holding on to each other for their life, man. Join, being joined unto each other because, you know, we all we got, okay? Your so-called family, man, will go, could very well be the ones to turn you in when all hell break loose, you know? There was a time when they was pushing that jab. My mom, man, uh, when she was talking to me on the phone, that was her only thing. You know, she didn't say, hey, how you doing, son, or none of that. It was just she hit me up and said, did you get that jab? And I'm like, no. Nah. And she's like, hey, you need to get it. You need to get it. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not getting it. And I said, man, and I started talking about the scriptures and all that. And then she's like, all right, I got to go, son. I got to go. I got to, you know, she was always getting off real quick. You know, she didn't want nothing about the Bible, the word, none of that. Only time she talked about the you know, anything regarding the Bible was because the fact that her church that she go to, uh, her pastor was pushing. <coughs> woo, woo, bless me. All right. Her pastor was a pushing the jab. OK, he had he did a commercial and everything. He had it in English and Spanish showing you that, hey, he trying to get the tribes. You know, you know, a lot of the northern kingdom speak uh, Spanish. OK, so this man had a commercial out there, you know, in Iowa, you know pushing the jab okay all right this is genesis chapter 3 and verse 1 says now the serpent okay there's that serpent okay now the serpent was more subtle all right than any beast of the field okay and keep that word subtle in mind okay which the lord god yahweh had made see that and he said uh all right unto the woman yea have god said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden see there's that that being deceit deceitful that's how esau is esau telling you hey you can do this you can do that did he really say that you can't do that and this and that hey you have to be very very careful okay and who you get your information from okay but they got that word subtle all right so this is the word okay and we come down here it says sly artful cunning crafty okay and it says all right sly art, uh, artful cun cunning all right uh, Esau is also known as what the cunning hunter see it's a it's word certain words that stand out Okay, when the nations uh, came together to uh, take Israel down the Bible tells you in the book of Psalms that what they took crafty counsel See there's certain words man that you 
hey, that come out, all right? And you got to just make you think like, man, you know, you start connecting the dots, all right? Look, insinuating, it says, all right, as a subtle person, it says subtle adversary, okay? And we know that, um, you know, uh, that's another word of uh, devil. You go into looking up the word adversary, okay? Because um, the devil is what? An adversary to the heavenly father, all right? To his son, Yahweh Shai, the holy angels, okay? Uh, to the Israelites, adverse to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So it says subtle adversary. Look, it says planned by art. It says deceitful. Look, as a subtle scheme, all right? So I just wanted to show you some of those words real quick, you know? Hey, man, this is... You, can't trust this man okay so make it everything making it look good and hey you can take this you can do this but man it's going to set you up for failure man all right this is the book of revelations chapter 14 verse 9 it says and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast see that in his image and receive his mark in in his forehead or in his hand okay verse 10 it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of god which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation all right and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels which i've done some art going into this depiction showing angels watching people being burnt up and all that you know those are people that received the mark okay those are people that that was the, are doing the deceiving as well okay but it says he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb Woo! so you, you're gonna they're gonna look down upon you man watching you be be uh tormented all right in that in that uh lake of fire all right verse 11 it says in the smoke of their torment all right ascendeth up forever and ever all right and they have no rest okay no rest day nor night okay who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receive the mark of his name okay so there is that all right Here's another precept. This is Revelations 19, verse 20 says, and the beast was taken. Okay, because, you know, they're going to be uh, destroyed, man. Okay, they're going to be judged. All right. And the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought the miracles before him. All right. All right. With which he deceived them. See, look, deceive. There's that word deceived again. Okay. He deceived them. All right. That had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image. These were both. Uh. All right, no, the, these both were cast alive. Ooh, 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 see that? All right, into a lake of burning fire with brimstone. All right, so you have that, all right? But like I said, you got a remnant, you got to elect, okay? And Lord willing, we be of that number, okay, that are going to stand for righteousness, okay? That's why the Bible tells you, hey, this man's going to come down with great wrath. This is why it tells you also in Revelations that the dragon was wroth with the woman, okay, being Israel, okay? You know, the remnant of her seed, okay, which is the elect, okay, who have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, those that keep the commandments. That's what it says in that precept. He's going to come after them because they're not going to what? Be succumb unto this devil. They're not going to be, they're going to, they're, they're not ignorant to his devices, okay? All right. They're not, they're not going to uh, trust in this man's words. We know that his words are smoother than butter, okay? Now, we like this hard, this raw, hardcore truth man okay all right you know people people say give it to me raw nah hey man we need, we want that raw and uncut okay we don't want that sugar coat stuff man all right you know even if it hurts hey truth hurts you know but you you got to take the good the bad and the ugly when you come into this truth all right and that's the type of spirit that that we come in okay all right and that we be in all right so this is Revelations 3 and 10, all right? And I'll go ahead and end it on this. Lord willing, this has been an edifying lesson, okay? You know, I know it's a little lengthy, but yeah, when you're going into the mark and you're going into a lot of things, and plus the more and more information that's coming out now, the, the lesson is going to be longer and longer, okay? But like I said, you know, this is to edify the people, all right? But uh, this is Revelations 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. See that? I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation what's that hour of temptation when when you tempted you're hungry you're looking all right and this man is trying to tempt you hey take this take that the heavenly father going to keep you he says i will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth see that verse 11 
behold, I come quickly. We know that Yahweh Shah coming like a thief in the night. See that? Hold that fast which thou hast, okay? This wisdom, this knowledge, this truth, which shall be the stability of thy times too, okay? It says that no man take thy crown, okay? Let no man take your crown. That crown is uh, symbolic for your salvation, okay? Let no man take your, your salvation, all right? You know, and we know that it's stored, that knowledge, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is stored what? In your mind. And we know that this man, part of this man's mark is uh, implanting that thing in your mind, okay? You saw what the man was saying in his vision where he said he saw, like, you know, you feel like you want to kill yourself and you can't. And, and then that chip sends a, a signal to your brain, man, where you just in a state of calm, even though things ain't, ain't, that, ain't, ain't that way, okay? You're gonna feel like killing yourself after after realizing like what have I done? I took this thing and, and it's just crazy. That's wild, man. That's that's sorcery. Hey, they and the other brother was talking about how the phones are or uh these phones are nothing but black mirrors and things. Absolutely. Okay. You know, to be, be honest with you, I don't even like using these phones, you know. The TVs, all that stuff. I barely watch TV now, the laptops, all that stuff. You know, I don't I really don't even like being on these things. It, you know, before this truth, I was ready to do away with social media, you know, because it's just like it's so fake and stuff. And then you start to even start seeing a lot of things even in this truth, too, man. You know, you got people, man, that are sometimey and they're not really, uh, you know, you got people that are not really brothers. You know, people, you know, that you thought was uh, sisters in the truth. They're not, you know, it's just a lot of weird vibrations. And a lot of weird stuff going on on social media. People might mistake your posts for certain things. And, and you know, uh, some people come with a gang-like mentality. It's just a lot of weird stuff. So it's just like you don't really want to be on there. However, I understand that the truth is being pushed on these platforms. So that's why I keep them. You know, I have to endure that. Okay? Even though it's like it's nerve-wracking. You don't want to. Then you're like, I want to make my page private. You know, so where I don't have to deal with that. But at the same time, hey, you know, that's like ducking and dodging. Hey, you got you got to you got to be set up, you know, you know, because, hey, you know, that's that could be also uh, you shutting the kingdom. OK, from people that could be someone up that's supposed to receive this truth, you know, by way of your page, you pushing the gospel. So we have to stand stand for uh, boldly bold as lions. OK. But uh, I was thinking about actually starting another uh, Instagram page for the art. Like, I'll still keep my one page and, and post art on there, but I think I might start a fresh page. But I'm a, I'm a, uh, I might make that one private, and it's going to be for only, like, like-minded uh, individuals and also people that just have a love and appreciation for the biblical art, all right? Not, not people that are spectators or looking for something or trying to do a lesson or, you know, or praying and hoping that you know you ain't right or you know any you know nick picking and stuff none of that i want to just you know people that have appreciation for biblical art and just let me do my thing you know what i'm saying you know i have people questioning certain art and stuff and i'm like you know one thing about art is that you're a very artistic person and you think outside the box and you're very creative okay you know now of course you know it's all biblical art but like i said i might do little things like somebody was questioning why what's up with the u-hauls i had uh because you know it was uh pretty much our people are looking for a new heaven and a new earth and we know that our people are going to be mo or moving so i played a song with the with the art where the guy was talking about i'm moving i'm moving i'm moving that's the name of the song you know i'm moving you know so i'm just like showing us like packing our things and we're moving we're in the u-hauls the chariots i had the chariots and all that you know how leading the way and, and the the u-hauls i ain't saying that that like i'm not basically telling you look we're going to be in u-hauls going into the kingdom no but it's just you know when you think of uh u-haul it means what moving okay so that's all it was you know but people be you know they trying to look for something that ain't there and trying to what's up with that why is all that you know what you trying to say you know are you teaching that we're going to be on u-hauls going into the kingdom and all that no you know and i just think that jake you know do a little bit too much on my post and that's and i don't want people like that on my page you know, on my art page that I'm thinking about starting. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. You know, that that to me is a little bit too much. I want somebody that's just kind of like could, could see the vision and see what I was going with with it. You know, you know, not not somebody that's just like, you know, 
Oh, I don't know about that. He already putting you whole stuff in there. Okay, well, all right, you go make some art. Right, you see if you do a better job and all that. The Heavenly Father made me different. Everybody's different. We all got an artistic, you know, our own way, you know. And, and I actually really do this. Like, I could actually draw and stuff. I'm not tapping into this AI art for no other thing. It ain't a trending thing for me or or like some people just jump into it. Like, they see you doing it. Oh, well, let me get into it. And you don't know nothing about it or nothing. But you got people that are really, like, they are artists and stuff like that. There's people that can really, like, draw and things in this truth. And I'm one of those people, you know. I have a real big passion for art. But lately, you know, when you're into, like, doing this truth and stuff, you don't have time to sit around and be drawing like that. It's a lot, it's a lot into drawing. It's a lot of detail, a lot of work. All right. And I just don't have that kind of time, especially with doing lessons and stuff. So and and showing you that your how about Al Shai ultimately is the one behind. All, we know he's behind all these things. You know, he's like, OK, the art can really help with the ministry. All right. And he got it to where like you could uh, put art together really quick by using the AI, man. Because like I said, everything is created by the Heavenly Father. At the end of the day, it tells you in, 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 in the Holy Scriptures. That all things are created, or everything under the earth and stuff is all created by him. Or under the heaven, I should say. Not under the earth, but under the heavens. All right. It's created by him. Okay. Everything in the heavens is created by him. Okay. And, and down here, ain't there what? The AI? Okay. The Heavenly Father created all these things. Okay. And, you know, and we know that Esau will use it for what? The bad. Okay. To deceive our people, keep our people uh, pacified, occupied, you know, bread, circus, things like that. But we're using it just like these phones. These phones are wicked devices, but we use them to what? Push the gospel. OK, so it's the same thing, you know, because you got some when we first start doing it. There were a lot of jakes in the truth. Oh, no, I don't know about the AI. I'm like, well, bro, you you got a you got a cell phone. You know what I'm saying? You had some complaining about all kind of different things. You know, uh, there was one where I was doing like the. Uh, I was doing biblical art, but I was doing it in a way of like the Disney uh, character, like uh, filter, you know, where they would like, like they almost look like like Disney Pixar art. And people were like, you know, Disney, you know, 666 and stuff. And I'm like, bro, the, the very phone that you use is a wicked device. OK, uh, the Internet that you go on, you go on Google, Google is 666. OK, and he said, I use and one guy said that, uh, oh, I, I don't use that, but I use Firefox. So I showed uh, my lesson because he was really he was coming on. He was one of the ones I blocked and he came back looking for my page. But I showed where the Firefox is also 666 as well. <laughs> I said, bro, come on, man. And that just show you how Jake is, man. Jake be really be trying to like they got a rebuke spirit. They just looking to do a lesson on somebody and it's truth, you know. But the Bible says you can do nothing against the truth before the truth. And see, I don't I don't want to be around people like that. All right. Just because we wake up and know we are Israelite don't mean that, hey, we're going to be joined unto each other. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got people that that teach uh, in a contentious spirit. You got people that are just sincere, just trying to edify our people, doing what the Heavenly Father commanded them to do. OK, the Heavenly Father didn't cause us uh, call us out to be doing that. OK, but he called us out here to to be to uh, teach and edify our people, man. All right. And bid them back to the marriage. All right. We're not going around on social media, searching out people and Nick and picking in this person and that person. And, you know, especially somebody that's doing the work. You know, why are you messing with them? You know what I'm saying? You know, but that's that's what some Jake's do, man. And that and that'd be the same Jake that said they don't have time on their hand. Yeah, you ain't got no time on your hand because you putting more time and effort on my page when you should be focused on, on your own salvation, working on yourself. Because you obviously got, you need a lot more work done. <laughs> my brother, you still got a lot of work to do, you know. Same here. You know, I work on myself. That's why when you don't see me or hear from me, I'm working on myself daily, okay. I'm not perfect, all right. None of us are, all right. And you got to remember that. the heavenly Because you you better get, get with the program fast or the Heavenly Father going to uh, straighten you out. And you don't want him to do so, okay. You might not like how it's done. All right, so with that, okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it because, hey, we can go on and on. All right. But uh, Lord willing, you have found this lesson here edifying, okay? You know, especially going into this MOTB, it's a very heavy topic, man. All right, and we just tell them, warn our people not to take it, okay? You know, there was brothers that had dreams of brothers and sisters in this truth, okay? You know, 
that it, they were in line to take the mark. All right. You know, everything was cool. I'm an Israelite. I'm doing this. You know, they had the fringes and living it up. Woo, I'm an Israelite, you know, in, in Babylon and all this stuff. But, you know, everything was fun, fun, fun and dandy. All right. And then all of a sudden, uh, that pressure's come out, out out here, that hour of temptation. All right. And you ain't thinking about your how about Shimmy Al Shai in those times. Okay. You think about what am I going to eat? What am I going to do? You worrying. You got that worrying spirit on you. And he said he saw people in line, man, that, that knew the truth. And they were in line to get the mark, man, so that they could eat and, and, and do. All right. That's, that's scary, man. That's scary. All right. So, Lord willing, we don't be those individuals. Okay. So, again, Lord willing, you have found this lesson here edifying. Okay. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel, and Shalom to you brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, Shalom.